UCSF is the birthplace of fetal surgery, and we're really excited to be leading the way in the evolution of fetal surgery to encompass more medical therapies for fetuses with genetic diseases. We tested the idea of giving this medication before birth in mice. And when it worked very well, we were able to get permission from the FDA to conduct a clinical trial in 10 patients with similar metabolic conditions. Some of these conditions lead to the development of symptoms in multiple organ systems after birth. And in some cases, those symptoms are not reversible. So we're hoping that earlier treatment can result in better outcomes. Isla is our, our little toddler toddling around. She is getting into everything at home, walking around all the time. Only time she rests is when she wants to eat or when she gets hurt. She needs a little bit of <laughs> soothing. She's keeping us very busy. Isla has Pompe disease, which is a genetic disorder. It affects her muscles all over her body. <laughs> When we were having Isla, we didn't know she'd be able to walk. We didn't know she'd be able to talk. We didn't know she'd be able to eat. We didn't know she'd be able to laugh, <laughs> right? So as she hit each of these milestones, we continue to kind of be amazed at her progress. When the Canadian family was diagnosed, they wanted to participate in the clinical trial, but they weren't able to fly back and forth to San Francisco during COVID. So we shared the protocol with our colleagues in Canada, and they were able to get local approval to try this strategy. And we've been working together to take care of this family, and we're thrilled about the good outcome in this situation. When we give the enzyme before birth, it can more easily get into the brain before the blood-brain barrier has closed. In this situation, we were able to clearly see that with the in utero therapy, this child did not develop any heart disease and now has a normal cardiac outcome, normal motor function, and normal developmental function. We learned from this family that it's possible to diagnose and treat a fetus with infantile Pompe before birth, and we're excited to continue this clinical trial to get information on similar conditions. Maya is the first patient that we've enrolled here at UCSF for this clinical trial. She is carrying a fetus with Hunter syndrome, which is a disease that runs in families and in her family. My baby brother, he also has Hunter syndrome. So it's been a lot of research in my family that we've looked over and looked into different treatments. Always have hope, because when we first got his diagnosis that he does have hunters, that I am a carrier. It was a very emotional time. We had our tears. I wanted to give him a fighting chance because the previous year we had a miscarriage with twins, actually. So we were young, but we were still hurt, so we didn't know how to feel. At first I was nervous. I'm not a fan of doctors in the hospital, but Dr. McKenzie, she's great. This feels like a family. I'm hoping that these procedures and the enzyme replacement allows my son to say mama, daddy. My brother has not said mama, daddy, or sister. These are of course rare genetic diseases and it's even more rare to have a fetal diagnosis of this condition. But uh, we feel fortunate that we have enrolled and treated uh, now two patients. And uh, we're hoping that as patients hear more about this clinical trial, that they will seek us out for more information about participating. <laughs>